Hey, love bugs is frowsling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed in Holly Favor. I didn't sing it in a long time, but hey, I had to feel I felt it today. So I hope everybody doing blessed. I'm doing blessed in Holly Favor and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings. Blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for drop a line i would love a chance to hear you is you know getting to know you as much as you're getting to know me and um you know sending out love and light and I always put on it while well, i'm starting to put that on there heavily if you're coming in with bad intentions bad vibes or just trying to check me out to see what i'm doing for the last five minutes and trying to wish out something that you can block seek and destroy i'm sending those i'm returning those back to sender Except what mine is going to be loving blessings, okay? Now I'm going to say have a good day. And I hope you're able to get something out of the video, too. But anyways, the video I'm about to do today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, don't worry about their karma. When you stay focused on you and your healing, you become that karma. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You was like, oh, wait. You do. You do. When I sat there and said that to myself, I'm like, God, dog, no, shut your mouth and keep on talking. Where you come from, cuz? You know, y'all haven't been in Dagon, Georgia too long. <laughs> it's like talking like that. But it is, you know, you go through so many different things in life. And a lot of times we don't realize our main mistake is we stay focused on, on situations and people. They ain't even worth that energy. You know, a lot of times they tell you, you know, um, kill them with their kindness. Uh, no, there are certain things that don't even need your kindness. It's kill them with your silence. You know, could be a lot of things. It's just like you, you know, it's not you going out your way to be kind, but it's just the fact is you ain't putting, you're not returning that same energy they're returning to you. You know, it'll be different things where when I'll say, okay, I'm returning the sender, I'm not wishing that on you, I'm just returning you that crap that you try to give me. It's that mine's gonna be with love and blessings. It's just, I, I, I don't have time for that. You know, I used to be that type of person where I'm gonna boldly sit up here and say to your face, I don't like you, and you keep trying me, I'm going to destroy you. Just keep on waiting. <laughs> you know, it's like my friends used to laugh and be like, Roz, are you serious? As a daggone heart attack. You want me to say it again? And they used to be just laughing at me because they'd be like, you're the only one I know to be bold enough to say that because I'm speaking real. I just don't have time for that nasty, you know, passive aggressive type stuff. I come full throttle. <laughs> I'm just like, if I don't like you, I'm going to just tell you. I don't like you. You you don't talk. No, it's just because of you. <laughs> no, I just don't do it. But, you know, it, it'll be different things where I really... And appreciate the hardship and that's really what the you know universe and god wants you to do. appreciate that show gratitude to it whatever you are lacking in your life those experiences with those people and those situations your hardship your trauma your drama all that taught you something it prepared you for something you were not expecting in your life you know the devil want us to stay mad at people the devil want us to wish worse on people the devil want us to stay occupied anytime an enemy comes in and spoils something or seeks and you know seeks pleasure out of hurting you because they know they're trying to distract you from something the devil know you got something it's like something coming your way and be like hey 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 get on your job Whatever you doing, if you got to sit up here and steal money from that person, really break them down and disrespect them and do all this stuff, be sassy. And if they trip, laugh at them. You know, they can come to you and you laughing at them because they got a shortage in their life that really done upset them. I need them to be distracted. Don't give them what they want. Don't give them what they want. Focus on your growth. Focus on your growth. I had, When I tell you I woke up with a rude awakening, and it wasn't about me being mad. Well, I ain't even gonna lie. It was about me being mad and I had to turn around and just sit up here and say, you know what? You needed that. <laughs> you really needed that. Because that gets to that point where right now God is allowing you to really go through the test. And it's just like, I gave you a world full of mishaps in your life. You, you should know the answer by now. You know, and be like, why God called? I don't call him and ask him why he putting this on me. Why he been doing this? Because I'm trying to show you, show your power. You got it. They know you got it. That's why they keep on trying to direct you from being in that weak vibration. Don't be docile. Don't be playing into the game. This is at that time where you the rule breaker. You the point chaser. <laughs> you got your power. Recognize it, baby. They're like, recognize it. This is at that time where it be sad when people don't choose you. When all you did is choose them. That was your world. This was this and this and that. Now it's time to you be your own world. Don't get mad. Even though it be hard 
to not be mad at when different things like that happen but you have to be in that mindset be happy for them and you hope and pray and they be happy for you when you choose you you know you become the enemy you become you know the villain or whatever when you allow yourself to stand your ground when you allow yourself to not be manipulated when you sit up here and tell somebody hey I'm not going to sit up here and do this you become the worst villain in the world it's okay you become that <laughs> you know you become that you can go through everything but it's just the fact is y'all know the truth you know the reason why you stop messing with them you know, you know the reason why you talk it off but it was just the fact is universe has placed you in situations like that where it's just like you need to choose you because you said every time you choose them what does it bring you it probably means your drawers stolen, your money stolen, you having problems, you having all this type of drama coming towards you, you slip, sitting up late at night trying to figure out is this, where is this person playing you in a position at, does this person really recognize my love, let me show them how loyal I am to them. No, show how you loyal to yourself. Do <laughs> you know loyal to yourself? This is those situations where God is showing you. When it comes to that karma, your karma is to yourself. Love yourself. I'm going to put people in your life that don't love you. For you to know what love truly isn't. I'm going to have people in your life that don't respect you. When you already know where you need to start respecting yourself. And you'll start choosing better. You already, you know, when, when you willingly give everything away to your energy. And you know, you ain't got nothing for yourself. Where it's telling you, you need to start choosing yourself. Be settling on your, not just your boundaries with other people. But be boundaries with yourself. You know, sometimes it's like, you know, it'll be a situation where you don't pour it into everybody's cup. And now you empty and it's like, when you're ready to drink, you, you know, I'm parched. I'm like, children, I gave it to everybody. You know, God wants you to do that, but he don't want you to sit up here and give so much that you take away from yourself and you ain't got nothing to, you know, nothing to be able to supply yourself with. That's why a lot of times what they tell us is very important, very important. For you to sit up here and recharge every single day. When you don't, you start getting grumpy. You start being snappy. You're just not the best person. It's just like when you wake up on the wrong side of bed and you ain't got your latte. That's not a good thing. That is really not a good thing. So it's just like all the all the things that you're going off in the world when you're allowing yourself to say, Dad, you know, I'm glad that they treated me like this because it shows me this is not what's genuine. You know, they're they're not appreciating me. They're taking me for granted. So now it's just like I got to pull myself back from that. And it can be lonely at times, but it's just like I'd rather be lonely than have to have people in my life like, are you really real or, or is this just a benefit for you? Or is this a benefit about you on where you're trying to come up and when you get where you need to get you gonna go ahead and throw me back like I was nothing you know or is this person gonna be in my life and it's gonna be that you know no matter what type of vibrations like no matter what long as it's like let me let me retort about that because it's not no matter what but if you put me in a situation gonna get me locked up or killed no baby we ain't about to do that <laughs> you know, like there'll be some kind of guidelines I'm not about to do that but it'll be just even different times like where you be in your own vibe like man I need to stop talking to these people because they so toxic or you know I'm tired of people coming to me and they're always toxic they're coming in there like that and there'll be that time where yeah, that's good for you to choose people to not be toxic, but you got to sit up here and choose the parts of yourself that needs to disintegrate. So don't be toxic because a lot of times we go through that vibration of karma because we don't, we resist change. We don't like it. You know, there's a lot of times I'm going to sit up here and say, you know, and I love that because I'm very transparent with it. Sometimes I did not like, you know, um, what is it? Corrective criticism. And there'd be that type. You have to be able to tell yourself how you're going to be able to grow. You know, it'll be different when you see somebody who's really trying to tweak you to become a better person or guide you towards that because that's what universe brought them in your life for. And there'll be a different time where somebody's just personally going out their way to point out every flaw. And I had that too, you know, in those different situations. But God brought both of those people in your life to show you who's genuine or who's just straight hating and they def ref projecting out on you and deflecting on you when they got shortage in their own life because they, they you know, you already know that's a whole headache and I ain't trying to open that door. But you're going through these different things and you're showing your karma through the growth of what you're becoming. When you stay focused on you and not worried about what people are doing, you have to understand. Normal people, the people that are living in their own pain that choose not to do it, they get a passion or empowerment off of doing things to hurt people. You know, I always tell people, when, you, when you're when in your happy moments and stuff like that and you really secure in your own self, I'm not going to see you as competition. I don't want to sit up here and say, oh, I got a one-up you. Or, oh, you know, I got I got me a, a pair of tennis shoes. Oh, I got about 10 of them today. 
And girl, they red bottoms. I was like, I don't even know if they got tennis shoes or red bottoms. But shoot, I got me some Jordans. You know, I got me some Kobe's. I got me some LeBron's. Oh my God, don't they even have those? Yes, it's the 2023. 53. 44. You know what I mean? One of those different things like that. Why is every time? I can't even be in, in, in a vibration where I can congratulate myself without you trying to have one up on me. I've had different things like that too. You know, and it had to be at that point. Universe had to be able, this is your karma on your growth. This is on your karma, on your, you know, on your happiness, your peace and all that stuff. And when you're allowing yourself to do that, it'll become that point where you can be mad at God. You know, we don't all had that moment where we don't really gave it to him. But then it'll be at a time when you finally cool down and get out your feelings. You're going to sit up here and say like, Dad, I, if I didn't go through this, I wouldn't know what self-love was supposed to be and be heavy on that. You know, where people don't love me, people don't like me, you have to understand when people are going out of their way to do that and you ain't did nothing to them, they struggle. They don't even like themselves. You know, they didn't love me. They didn't love themselves. They can't give you something they ain't never experienced before. They don't know how to do. You have to understand. It'll be a different time. Well, I'm tired of that person being this way. You have to understand. You can't force somebody to heal when they're not ready to heal because it's like, you know, quiet as a kept. There may have been a couple of times where stuff don't reflect back to you on where you needed to be able to heal and you chose to keep on going on the wrong way. You play stupid games. You got stupid prizes and it got to that point where, you know, I don't like the prizes I'm getting. He's like, well, you got if you don't like what you're getting, you got to change what you're giving. And I'm like, I know. You really going through these different things. And if you didn't go through that, you wouldn't be receiving that power karma that you're receiving within yourself if you did not go through these moments of bad karma you know that's why they're telling us you're going through the karma wheel right now the karma wheel is heavy when you allow yourself don't be sitting up here wishing something on somebody else because that makes you them you know when people want to do things and you see it's like every time you turn around they always in some drama so they're always in fighting all, all this and this and that you, you know and it, 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 it's just like I had to pull back when I see stuff like that and it's like stop judging them you know, and a lot of times it's hard to do that, especially when it, it, it pertains to you being in that vibration. Stop harming them. You pulled in your peace. Pull them in your peace. If they can't pull in that peace, baby, they weren't meant, meant to be in that circle anyway. Pull them into your peace. Don't allow them people to pull you in their drama because that's, that's how they work. This is how they, you know, this is like, how you say that? Um, is, is it, I'm trying to see, is it, is, is it their fail safe? It may be in some kind of way where... You know, you were chosen to make that huge change and that, that change is not easy to come by. It's never, you know, God never said it'll be easy. That's why we got so many people. You be having like a hundred people just on you, you know, protecting you, giving you that uplift, giving you that promise that you're not by yourself, that we're proud of you, that we love you. We know what you're facing is not easy, but we picked you because we knew you were overcome this. We chose you because we know you going to be that renegade. This like you got a, a, a stubborn heart but a brave soul. And that's the reason why God gave you. Because he already know you're going to get rough and rowdy with him. And then you're going to have to come back with the 12 behind your legs. I'm sorry. You were so right. I was so sorry. I was in my fields. I'm sorry. You know, and be one of those moments. you like, that's all right. But you're going to pay for it though. <laughs> that's all right. But you're going to learn. You're going to learn today. And it'll be at that time. Where you're going to really see that everything that hurt you, that broke you away, it was building you up for better. You know, because when it gets to that point, when, when I tell you I've had so many different things that go on in my life, you know, sometimes it's hard, you know, when it deals with family, you be giving them leeway, leeway, leeway. And it's just like, no, nah, you need to stop doing that. Because they treating you like people out on the street. Let them stay in the street. Give them back to the street. That's all you can do. You know, and it can be very hard to say that. That was hard for me to say that, but it was just like, if they're not choosing you, you need to choose you. You know, nobody will put you, and I heard this, and I felt that to the heart. Nobody ain't going to put you in a situation where you had to make a choice anyway. If they really loved you, you wouldn't have to make a choice. You know, it's either me or you. I don't like that mess you're doing, and you keep, I, I, I have told you one time, I shouldn't have to keep repeating myself because you heard me the first time. You know, you are not remedial. <laughs> you ain't got to be able to do that. And there's no disrespect for anybody because I used to be a remedial reading. I ain't even going to hate about that. But, um, you know, you going through different things like that where you had to be able to choose you. You know, and it'll be the fact is that God will put you in situations where it won't be petty. It will be some brutal mess for you to really have to understand, God, why you, and you talk about I was your favorite. You talk about you love me, and this is what you give me? <laughs> you know, you had me go through this. And it, it would be it's one of those points where it will shake you to the core. And it's like, yes, I put you through this. Because it's just fact that you ain't recognizing your power. And the biggest thing is these folks recognize that, and they're trying to make sure you're, you don't. 
So I need you to be up in this situation because I want you to man up. Whatever I'm putting you through is not for the weak. I do not have mercy for you. Because I know I'm building you up to be that person. Like when you when you deal with the roughest of the rough. And you done belt. I mean when you done went through stuff back to back to back. It was like an avalanche of pain. It was an avalanche. I mean you had people dying left and right. That you really cared for. And they done went on to the upper room. And they still protecting and loving you from that situation. Even though. And that's not no joke at nobody like that. Because shoot. I don't lost too many daggone people. But it's just like I didn't lose them. If their love is deep. That mess just transformed. And that's all it is. They just choose to. It, it's like a lot of times. I had to be in that point with tears calling down my eyes. Like God. Why did you take everybody away from me that knew my truth that knew that would help me and be the person that loved me and you left me all around people that was willing to stab me in my back no matter who it was family friends children all that different job you know and it was just like because they chose to take an oath to be able to help you follow the storm that i'm about to guide you through and everybody I took in your life, I made it, had to make you sacrifice and just leave your children alone. I know you had to sacrifice to make sure you left your siblings and your and, and your parents alone. I had to make you sit up here and leave people that you chose to marry or choose to lay down and have pro procreate with kids with to make you go through that. But this is at that point where you're going to recognize the core of you and it's going to shake the mess out of you. You did not expect that you were going to be that unexpected. You didn't realize that that twist was a heavily plot built in you. And you know you're gonna be really going through some stuff like that. So it's just like when you allow yourself to focus, don't don't be looking on nobody's revenge. You ain't gotta do that because it's like eventually, you know, no matter how long it is, it is just like to me, people. And I, I've said that in other videos, and I keep saying it. And it's just like people don't want to listen. But like I said, universe and God are gonna show you better to get to tell you when you keep pushing bad things on people, or you really just want them to suffer because of some insecurities and, and lack of whatever you felt like is in with you, and you placing that personal on them like they chose that god chose them for that that opportunity god chose them for that purpose but you want to take it out on them you know you want to put you know bounties over their head you want to you know block their blessings sabotage them in every kind of way but then you thinking oh i deserve this what makes you think that god play like that <laughs> oh, like, what makes you think that god play like that because he's gonna give it to you but he ain't gonna give you what you want <laughs> and they're gonna be all the different stuff but it is just like Allow yourself to know, focus on you. Focus on you. Because they always say, if God really truly loves you and wants you to know you blessed, he will sit up here and be, you will be that front, sitting, front and center with that person. They're going to be perceiving karma. And it, that mess going to be so deep. They're going to know it's because of you. That's why they're receiving it. And God will allow you to do it. Don't brag. Don't boast. Don't laugh. No snicker. Don't do none of those things. Be able to allow yourself. Because that will be your karma when you do that. When I tell you I've seen so many different things that happen to folks. Or just the visions of the things that people are, you know, that happened. That went out their way to really do some brutal stuff to me. And did I laugh? No. <laughs> I did not. God like you don't laugh. Uh-uh. I'm good, but I appreciate the fact you let me see that you ain't playing, you know, and it had to be that way, because back in the day, I ain't even gonna lie, I used to, when I seen somebody do something, I said, oh, if God really love me, he'll let you, he'll handle that mess, or let me handle it, and I used to laugh at folks like that, and then realize, I'm becoming that person that did that to me, and where is that a win-win situation, people like, you know, I, you know, what do they say, a wrong don't make a right, but a dad don't shame make it, even now, I'm not trying to be fabulous today, <laughs> I ain't about to be fabulous day because I used to use that quote from the rapper fabulous. He's like, he's like, two wrongs don't make a right, but a dad gonna show make us even. No, nah, I, ain't, I ain't trying to go that because that means I'm mirroring you. I don't want to mirror that. You know, I don't want to mirror that. But they tell you when you allow yourself to stay focused on you and your growth and your truth and your purpose and stuff like this, that's gonna be your glow up. That's gonna be your grow up. And the fact is, when when people put stuff on you and you looking for it, and it's just like allowing yourself to grow. Because when you do that, you become that karma. You really become that karma. Because it's just like a situation people will feel like you will stay in your modes of suffering. Everything that they put you in, they feel like that will be your internal damnation. No, it's not. Because anything that God made you face and deal with that is only preparing you for bigger. It's only preparing you for better. It's preparing you for you to see how far you really dedicate for you to become a better person get into a better atmosphere, be into a situation. Yes, it's going to hurt, 
God never sat up here and said the stuff that we face is going to be easy. But it's just the fact is when we can go through these things and we be crying like, God, I don't know how much more I can take this. I've been doing everything you asked me to do. Why you keep sending this stuff to me? Why you keep allowing these things to happen to me? It's like change your verbiage, change your perception. These are the things I'm allowing to happen to you for you to be able to know this is for you. This is not happening to you. This is for you. Because when I have people in your life, it'll be empty. You know, and I, I, I would tell people, I don't, you don't hurt me so up here and say, I get tired of making friends. I love a lot of people, but I don't like dealing with folks' ego. It's like, you're like, oh, girl, you're doing it. And they see, you know, they stab you in your back real quick. Like, uh, where was that from? You know, on, on a situation that it, I was totally out of control for. It. And it got into my purse, you know, got me into my feelings where I said, I'm going to just help people, but I'm going to keep them at a distance. And God was just like, no, nobody said that you had to go through that route. There's a lot of people I'm sending in your life just to have that edu uh, that education or that information or that, that insight, that, you know, uh, enlightenment they need to have. And if it's going to be something that can build off of a short friendship, it will do that. Because I got a lot of people in my life that has done me that way, but I have a lot of people in my life that know my story, know my situation, and they love me to death. They never switched up on me. I've even had people that knew my situation and have been in my life, and then all of a sudden, got too dead on tight they all flipped up on me and it was just like and I still had to appreciate that it really had to get me out of my vibration and say I hated that person for that because I did nothing but show love to them I ain't show nothing but encouragement when people wanted to send them down to the wrong direction I wanted to be able to give you that praise that you needed because there were so many times where people seen your worth and wanted to well they were downplay it oh well you know you, you <laughs> You feel like you can be a singer? Oh, Lord. Well, you know, such and such tried that. And it's just like, I'll hear some. I'm like, girl, blow. Or man, blow. You got what it is. You can be the next Al Jarreau. You can be the next, uh, you know, Teddy Pendergrass. You can be the next, you know, uh, Vivica Fox. Not Vivica Fox. But v Vesta Williams. You know, you can be all this and this and that. Patti LaBelle. Whatever. And it will be just like that person. You need to give that person encouragement because you knew what it felt like to be that person. You always had to look for approval. You always had to, you know, let your parents do this. Like, you know because I didn't have that you know and so uh, all those different things that that goes on in your life it really teaches you something it really teaches you something you had to go through the badness of that karma for you to be able to understand you had to let something go you know and a lot of times in our, our our situation of change we can put resistance on it because when we been in that vibration for so long for so so long it's hard for us to rewire ourselves and reprogram ourselves and say okay I can't keep going down this path I can't keep allowing myself to accept things that are just very unacceptable I gotta keep you know I gotta stop allowing myself to tolerate things that are very intolerable because it's like sometimes we feel like we ain't moving or things that never change but you'll start noticing you don't went through certain things for so long get to that point where enough is enough and that's on period I, I can't keep dealing with this where the fact is you know what you more of a headache than, and a heartache than you giving me peace I'm constantly feeling myself at war with myself as well as with you and I can't keep doing it so I'm allow you to keep going I'm gonna send love and blessings towards you and you know hope and pray you got the courage to change and heal where you need to you know I'm allowing myself to do that to me Allow myself to not judge people because everybody going through their own storm. Everybody facing a war. It's just a lot of us got our different ways of dealing with it. You know, there'll be different times. You know, it, it, even when we're healing, it feel like there are certain things that is unhealable. And a lot of times we just don't realize those things is not unhealable. It's not really unhealable. It's just going to take that time. And a lot of times it's, it's like you're going to still hurt that pain. You know, especially like if you lose a loved one. It's like, how am I going to get over that? And it gets to that point where you'll never get over that. You'll just have to get used to that person not being in that form. Is that what you're used to? And that, that a lot of times it's hard, you know, when you're dealing with stuff like that. But you already know that person, when that love is deep, they're always with you. You know, they're always with you, you know, and it's just like I have a blessing with mine because it was just like a lot of the ones that I, I you know, I lost. There's some I didn't have a pleasure to meet and that hurt deep for me. But then it's just like when God gave me that blessing, I talked to him every single day. They joke with me. They give me, you know, they give me that rub down when I'm crying. They give me that words of encouragement. And there'll be just the times where it'll give me that blessing where I'll see different different moments of where God allowed me to see them in my life where I didn't know that they were there protecting me or they were that one that gave me that whisper in my ear to be able to allow me to know you got the courage you know you got the courage and the power to keep going because you're not going through this by yourself I'm with you I'm helping you I'm encouraging you I'm, you know um, I'm protecting you you're, you know your love is there no regardless on what is going on we chose you for this 
we know you had we know you had to go and ask for this you know it'll be different things that will go on into your life and allow yourself to know don't don't allow the things that people place hurt on you to you know stiffen your heart you know that you are very genuine because of the good heart you have don't allow somebody ugliness within themselves to make you do that that'll be your karma on top of what you already see and what that karma done brought them you don't need that into your life you were built to be different you were that one that's going to be that example to show them no matter what you have placed on me no matter what i've constantly go through no matter what i lack i have the possible i i you know i can make the impossible possible through me and change through healing through projecting love being able to set boundaries being okay with saying no being okay with not having to tell my story to everybody being okay to know that you you may not understand me i may not be your cup of tea that's fine and be able to understand you i may be misunderstood to you i may be an enigma i may be a conundrum a, a, a whole question mark to you but there'll be people to be on that same vibe as me and get me better than anybody else have you know it'll be somebody been in your life about 10 20 years and you know it really don't get you and it'd be a person that been in your, your 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 existence or your essence for one day and get you more than anybody and i know you probably relate to me like girl what you talking about i've been around people that truly know that struggle i've been through and understand like you know what i'm i feel you on that i don't tell you know i don't tell nobody I understand what you're going through no i'll tell people real quick i understand where you coming from i don't want to say i understand what you're going through because not everybody deal with stuff the same or i can just imagine i hate that, that that's the main little phrase i can't stand when people come at me i'm like you would never imagine what i go through you don't know i don't only project what i want you to see don't get it twisted you know i tell people real quick hey, i'm a strong person i'll tell you i'm a thun i'm a thundercat but there'll be times i gotta retract the claws real quick that, that armor come off but there'll be a, a situation where i don't care about weak-minded folks to come watch me because you want that hurt for me to be in that hurt you want me to be in that pain you want me to off myself i'm not gonna give you that type i'm not gonna give it to you i'm gonna send love to you you're not gonna get what you want i'm gonna give you what you need but i'm not gonna give you what you want you know and that'll be in a different term because you know i <laughs> mean back in the day before my butt you know was unhealed the hood part of me that real hood part of me that was not healed i'll give you what you want and that there'll be something that'll be over it'll be over but then i'll just at that point uh it's not worth my time it's not worth prison time the orange is not in black for me i'ma live rise and be multiplied i got better things in, in my life for me to become what i deserve what i earned what i worked hard for and a lot of times you got to keep reminding yourself even when you want to give up there's too many people that's on there who's hoping that'll happen hoping that'll happen your best revenge is when you do the work your best revenge is when you stay happy your best revenge is when you stay authentic be very transparent stay on your stuff know yourself to the core people allow themselves to, oh i know her but do you understand her that was the question you know you know the old me and i'm allow you to be in that vibration of the old me if you ain't trying to give the new me a chance stay in that <laughs> you know you want to keep reminding me of who i was i know who i was i was me but that's not me no more I'm good, you know. People, it's like when you allow yourself to keep growing and keep elevating and stuff like that. People will allow, you know, when they can't stand it, they'll start. Okay, I gotta find dirt on that person. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I gotta make them look bad in every kind of way because I don't like that, you know. And they they about to reveal some stuff I really don't want people to know, you know. And what? How would they see me? How would they like me? How would they care? And it'll be at that point, you know. When I'm just like you, you wouldn't. If you either gonna like me or you you're not you gonna love me or you gonna hate me I'm okay with either one you know either you gonna understand me or I'm just be a whole hot mess of a confusion to you and it's okay what you say about me is how you feel about yourself <laughs> you know it'll be one of those things it's like hey I can admit shoot I was a bad person I'll tell people yes I was a messed up mom you know I've been through some stuff I've, I've been exposed to a lot of hateful things I've been exposed to a lot of dark things I went through a lot of abuse in many forms you know and then it was like when i exposed that stuff and thought it was norm there was a lot of different things that was verbal more verbal and emotional and mental that i put on my kids and it, that's enough and i can be okay with saying that even though it's not that's not something i'm proud of but i can be that person because it's like what, what was done to me they were okay with doing it but when it was presented for you to tell the truth you were more worried about what people thought and wanted to make that a lot and i tell people real quick that was a thought in my side if you already know you can't brag about that to the people not around the people that could you know in that same vibration as you because y'all all think that'll be funny but in towards people be looking at you like what's wrong with you <laughs> you're like what's wrong with you don't sit up here and do something that you ain't proud to be bragging about to anybody 
not on the same level as the, the things that you dishing out towards people because they dealing with some kind of insecurity and low self esteem too. But don't do something that you know you can't sit up here and be proud enough to bright enough to say. And I had to learn from that. And it's just like, yes, I was a narcissist. I had narcissistic traits. I didn't treat my children like I should have. But there was a lot of things like, I, I'm not going to put all that on my mom, on her, you know, bad mouth talking to my mom. Because my mom was the best mom I ever had. Even though I got two of them. I only know one mom. I only know the, the birth mom I have. And I still, I love her to pieces. Even though I ain't never had a chance to meet her. I love her because the fact is she could choose to do something else. You know, but I told her, it was like, shoot, you 16, how can I be mad at what you're doing? You couldn't even have a voice of your own, especially back in the 70s. You know, my mom had me that time and my dad had me at 18. And it was just like, I couldn't be mad at that. I appreciate the fact that you would let me live and, you know, gave me up to be put me in the right place. And then it was just like that right place. That's the most fearful thing for anybody that cares about their kids, but they, they can't. You know, keep them that they put them adopted, you know, adoption and praying that they get a good home. It's just the fact is I didn't really get that. I said my mom did the best thing she could, you know, the best thing she could, you know. And it was always seen that she was the worst person in the world. She was the monster in my closet, but it was the other person that was projecting that towards me. Not to find that out, you know, when it was too late, but it was just like when I can allow myself to really step back, really, really step back and be that person that they weren't bold enough to be. You know, or be that person that my mom wanted me to be. Because it was just like, you know, I'm like, oh, my mom was always mean to me and this and this and that. I'm like, no. My mom was mean to me and stuff like that, but I gave that to her. <laughs> I projected for her to be up on my butt a lot. I didn't give my mom nothing to be proud of. You know, every time she always had to either buy me out of jail, get me from sitting up here putting a foot off in my baby dead butt, you know, had me sit up here telling me some stuff that I shouldn't have been doing. And, you know, and it, it was in, in that point. But now it's just like when I get that time to turn around, this is where my karma is. At. I can allow myself to say I was not a good parent. We don't come with instructions on how to be a good parent. When you are blessed to be able to have a household where you didn't have to be exposed to negativity, some kind of mind control or uh, emotional mis mir uh, uh, mental abuse, any kind of form. I don't want to get into that because it's YouTube and you don't be striking on you. But you've gone through different things and you know, and that's a beautiful thing. But there will be sometimes people will be looking at you know, how can my kid be like that? They're doing this. They're abusing. They're doing that. You know, they're 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 unliving the people and this and that. And I gave them a good home. And I'm just, I'll be telling people that. And I'll be spirit come back and tell me. I'm like, baby, Ted Bundy had a good, you know, upbringing. You know, he had a good upbringing from what I read. You know, and he still turned out. You can't sit up here and blame yourself for the decisions. Every decision that a person chose to do when you're an adult. You know, and there'll be different times where I had to really sit with myself and say, I see how their choices are projecting, you know, and this is what they this is what they came accustomed to and they refused to change. But that I was that person where I couldn't be that. God was gonna make me change whether I didn't like it or not. You know, because if you're just like, Oh, okay, I'll just turn that heat up and you just be going. But then it'll be that person where I can admit I wasn't a good parent, but I tried all I can to be able to apologize to my kids and try to be that best person I could be. You know, towards that because it's like I see where that parenting of being in my, you know, being in my in my stage of being the, you know, the victim to this, the victim to that, and I had every reason to treat them like that and this and this and that, you know, whatever. And it was just like them children that asked to be here. You know, you could have gave my butt back to the orphanage. It, it wouldn't have made no difference to me. You know, but it's just like I can appreciate what I really went through. Even as the worst thing, I say I got many enemies because of my situation. I wouldn't even wish this pain on them because this almost sent me up. up <laughs> Ish Creek without a paddle. You know, the things that I went through, the things that, you know, people inflicted on me, I had no problem with trying to take them out for that. And I could calmly say that, and that's what scared me because I felt like I lost everything. I really lost everything, so it wasn't no point for me to let you live because it was just like I'm about to be New Jersey hunter and hitting every daggone house and you'd be like Santa Claus, you know. But then it was like I had to draw back, and God was like, This is not that life for you. I know you done lost a lot of stuff and I know that truth really hit you into that point where I can understand them stripes was really about to be your stripes and you had no problem with representing that mess. You know, you're like, shoot, I ain't, I ain't the student. I'm the, I'm the CEO and didn't care about that. But then it was just like when I can allow myself to boldly be in my truth and be authentic about that and saying nobody is perfect. You know, we can't make somebody heal that don't want to do that. We can't make somebody love you when they can't do that. You know, there's a lot of times where people get set in that vibration of where, you know, that's come, it, it comes to the norm to them to be toxic. It comes to the norm for them to be this way and be that way. 
and they don't know how to reprogram themselves. They got that problem with doing that. And yes, it, it, it's hard. <laughs> you know, it's hard for anybody. You know, like I said, we on that vibration. We're on that that leverage on that pinnacle where. You, you the old is no longer needed that was your old story you want a whole new chapter you want a whole new genre of what is about to take place in your life that old you you can't be living in that old story anymore you don't be like oh they did this and this and that to me yes they did but you brought me down to become better baby you don't brought me down to become beastly baby and i i thank you for that if it, you know i'll be like thank you for the people that you know you be on that war ceremony it's like who do you you know who 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 do you think because you went through that i appreciate my enemies i appreciate the people i'll be like j-lo up on that goddamn on stage i appreciate the people that hurt me i appreciate the people that didn't believe in me i appreciate the people that you know didn't support me you know because if i didn't believe in myself i wouldn't be here you know, and being that type of vibration, except, you know, there'll be certain sidetracks that I just don't want to get into that I wouldn't do that way, but I'd be doing my own thing. It's like no judgment. <laughs> you know, I'm staying in my lane. But it'll be different things where I can sit up here and say, if I didn't go through these things, I really wouldn't know I was really dedicated for. I was built for. You have to be able to do that. that that's where your good karma coming in, baby. That's where your good karma coming in. If you didn't never have this person he, or people neglect you and support you, how would you know how to support yourself? Because a lot of times people won't support you just because it's you. They already know if I support this person, I give them a couple of ducats and then be able to do this, they're going to blow up and then leave me behind. You know, not all people are like that, but if you got that mind frame with somebody would do that, but probably nine times out of ten, you would do that to somebody. But, you know, if you didn't really go through these things, you really wouldn't know you were what you were built for. You really wouldn't know what you had the power to overcome. There's a lot of y'all that have been dropping. You know, especially I didn't expect to have those many views on that video of saying where you're not strong all the time. And there was so many different moments of vibrations I was showing. And I'm like, God, dog, you can't even pick a personality today. And what I'm saying, I'm mental. You know, but it was so many different shades of authenticity and transparency that I had to show in that because I was just like dang I'm goof troop today then I feel like a nervous wreck right here and a whole hot mess this minute and it get, went right back to being serious but being funny at the same time but it's just like you know it, that that wasn't for attention seeking it was me being in my feelings and being true to my heart like this is what I'm projecting out because there's so many of us that can you know really rectify that or really relate or resonate with those type of situations just a lot of us don't go out there telling the world about it there's some people that'll do that just to get attention you know there'll be a lot of times where people are okay being in that victim mentality because it, it gives them that attention or whatever but it gets in that moment where you can't allow yourself to keep being a victim even though it did happen to you but the devil wants you to stay in that victim mentality he wants to be in that pity party he wants you to be oh you know they did this to me and oh you did that to me but it'll be just like yeah they did that to you but look what you found out about yourself because of the situations that got that to you. That's why God was like, any situation that goes through, you have to let go, forgive, give love to that person and show gratitude. It's like, this person uh, did this and this and that to me and did that and that to that me. How can I give love to something like that? Because when you're giving love to them, you're giving that to yourself. And when you're showing gratitude, that person showed you so many red flags, you could have made your own daggone planet and would have had all representations about, well, you know, how we got flags, for, you know, for every state. They done gave you red flags for every situation. So when you go through that again, and that'll be that person you done forgave and let go, and it'll be that situation that brought up that same person, that same situation. They tell you, see, now, now you know what this situation is, and that was your karma. You learn what that mess was to you. You learn how you were growing from that. And for that happening, now you know how to move accordingly with yourself. Put up those boundaries. Move accordingly. Allowing yourself to know you. there are only so many times you're going to allow somebody to keep disrespecting you. And the more you keep allowing that, that person to do it, they, you basically tell them you have to condone. You're condoning on how you're telling them, you, you, this is how I want to be treated. I had to be able to, I, I had to be able to, you know what, time out. Time out. I have enough is a enough you know and i had to be at that with my own self not with them because they'll be a part you know i'll be really wanting to clap back and i'm just like no nah, don't do that because <laughs> you giving them exactly what they want don't give the enemy that don't give the devil that it'd be like no nah, be mad at yourself because this has been a you know this has been a current thing you have to be able to allow yourself to know you deserve better you know better so why are you we won't allow that to happen because you know better 
You know, and be that person you, you you know really don't pushed out for you, and you really want to push right back. They don't tap you now. You trying to beat them down, and they'll be that type that you know. There'll be sometimes you probably don't went through some situations where it'll be like God. They put me against the wall. They don't sit up here and poke the sleeping bear. And all I did is you know stand up for myself. All I did is pop off. All I did is do this. Why you gave me karma before you gave it to them? Oh, trust me, we working with them, but I'm gonna give it to you first because you knew better. You knew exactly what they were doing and you gave them exactly what they were looking for. Why did you do that? You were like that. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm going to let you go through that though. <laughs> you know, it'll be that point where God wants you. He's like, he loves you so much. You need to start making moves like you love you so much. You know, allow yourself to stop being in them weak moments when you know you're stronger than that. You know you're better than that. So allow yourself to know. When you moving, you moving accordingly, you moving in good, you know, you picking good, you pushing out good, and you projecting good, good going to come to you. And when you allow yourself to stay focused on that truth, that path, whatever it is that you're trying to aim for, whatever you're trying to manifest, and leave all that other stuff alone, that nonsense with other people alone, you're going to realize you were that karma because they're going to lose out on something that was genuine. They're going to lose out for something that was taken for granted. They're going to lose out something that they, they, you were their blessing. And not realizing they forfeited that all together. And then they want to get mad because your ass is doing the best thing you can to better yourself. Like everybody's doing what's best for them. You do what's best for you. You know, don't worry about what's going to get tipped for that. You know, there'll be different times. Lord, you know, Lord, no. Lord, no. I've been saying, God, I can't wait until you show up and show out for them. And then it's just like, why are you waiting on that? Why aren't you focusing on you? you eventually, you're going to see whatever I want to give you. But why, don't get focused on that. Because that when you start standing in the way for that, you already know where they'll go. <laughs> you know, so I'm going to leave it at that. You already know where you're going to go. But it, it's just like, allow yourself to stay focused on you, okay? Allow you to stay focused on you. You know, yes, we all go through hardship. We all go through pain. There'll be different times people will just not love you. There'll be different people that just not respect you. And I mean, it can really hurt you deep when you didn't do that but you have to understand not everybody is, has a mindset like you everybody don't have that heart as you you know but a lot of times you have to they don't appreciate you until they got to be able to fill a void and baby if you already know you move in good you move in right you know you you doing everything that God has allowed you to, you are not replaceable they will never find somebody like you and that will be their karma so go ahead and do what you need to do to better you, baby. You got it. You got this. You, you're going through whatever you're going through, but it's taking you towards greater. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Yeah, and I did something different. I put my hair on. I changed my eyes. You know, I feel different. You know, I'm feeling like a little archerian today. Got that vibe. You know, so I'm feeling good. <laughs> so I hope, you know, you were able to resonate with the content of the video. I would love to give a post notification out to my new subby and soul sister. Much love to you, um, uh, Mighty Midget. Much love to you as well. Thank you and welcome to the fam. And as well as uh, Della Winkler, much love to you. Welcome to the fam. Uh, you know, I leave all my contact um, information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. If you just want to vibe with somebody because you feel like you're misunderstood or, you know, the things that you speak on, people just don't understand or you just feel like you're being judged or, you know, there'll be different things that you just want to give insight about to see, you know, whatever we're going through. Is this what Hayokas go through? It's like, I don't know if I'm a Hayoka. If you've been watching a few of my videos, you just are. <laughs> you just saw I got a video on here where it tell you characteristics of knowing if you're a hey oak and it's on here on the videos that I have so you can just always look it up um but yeah it's just you know spiritual networking if you want to you know hit me up or whatever just to be able to vibe or you know you need some kind of insight or some kind of guidance you know I'm your girl I love to be able to connect with people I feel like it's a blessing when we can help heal you know give some kind of light of encouragement or just light of insight that you may not be aware of there's a lot of things that you have overcome that I may not have been able to do yet you know or there'll be different things that you know I may not be aware of you always feel like you're never old enough never too old to find out something new you know about the world about yourself about your surroundings and just being able to be connected with other people like that I think it's totally beautiful it's very awesome and I love to be able to you know be able to connect with you like that whatever we speak on is you know confidential and I hope out the best way I can possible and you know if you're interested in podcasts you know I also have that on my community page as well as you know um, empath memes or different things the words of encouragement you know just to be able to make you laugh but just also remind you you're very beautiful you matter and you have a true powerful purpose 
purpose here in life. You know, I never second guess that. You know, even though you're going through something, don't make you want. You know, you trust and believe you'll get through it as well. You know, you're overcoming a lot of things that you know that that was sent to destroy you. <laughs> you know, the fact is, you are really ticking the devil off, and that's okay. You can get rocks with all socks, no, no, so no socks, because I want him to feel that. But you know, go ahead and keep on going, because it's just your power and your light really made the devil nervous. That's why they try so hard to make you forgive up, give up. So allow yourself to keep going, you know, and ever if you ever feel generous enough, hey, you know, Cash App is there too. You can drop a donation. It would be greatly appreciated. And, you know, whatever you're trying to manifest in your life, you know, whatever vibrations you are needing, you know, whether it's consistency, you know, uh, you know, uh, confidence or, you know, just an uplift or you're going through a healing process that's hard for you to really, you know, let go of. You know, I want to send that times a million times, 20 million times, folks, to be able to take you, take you to that next level because whatever you are working hard for, for, you're going to deserve that plus so much more you know just keep on going stay persistent and consistent stay devoted you know uh motivated for yourself you know you truly truly need this even though it takes a little bit longer keep going because a lot of times it's bringing out so many different things you weren't aware of when it comes to yourself and you truly deserve that so um stay consistent and persistent you know don't ever sleep on yourself stay woke you know devil and, and your enemies see your potential and your light within you so don't try to doubt you put you everything in your vibration to make you quit and give up don't do that because you may give up today and you never know your blessings may open swing open doors tomorrow so you truly appreciate that i mean not appreciate it well appreciate it but you definitely deserve all that plus more so allow yourself to be please uh stay uh responsible and safe even through social distancing make sure you give out love like positivity words by frequencies you never know all those things that really take somebody a long way and just because you did that with no hidden agendas or attentions or motives it will take you even further so uh you know uh yeah be safe and responsible <laughs> much love to you namaste god bless shalom i say peace